Hello everyone, here's a second lecture on 7.3 on logarithms. Uh, and last time we defined logarithms uh, using these sets of equations. The first one uh, is what we call the logarithmic form. It tells you that the log base b of x is an exponent y, so that b to the y equals x. We also covered the change of base formula uh, as a way to calculate logarithms for bases that were not directly on our calculator. Um, a couple of more pieces of terminology. Um, last time we did talk about log base 10, uh, and every most calculators are going to have a log base 10 button on their calculator. Okay. Sometimes you will see this um, without the base 10, simply as log, or in capital letters, log. And these are called common logarithms. Base 10 is common logarithms. Okay. And last time we also looked at log base e, uh, where e is that 2.71828. And this is sometimes written as capital LN or small LN and called natural logarithms. Okay. So in this lecture, we'll do some more examples of uh, logarithms, including solving some equations um, using logarithms. Um, but again, to emphasize, a lot of what we'll do with logarithms is change back and forth between these two forms, the exponential form and the logarithmic form. So, for example, if we have, let's say we want to change um, 7 to the x plus 1 equals 3 to logarithmic form. Okay. All right. So, if we want to write that in logarithmic form, remember... Uh, whatever the base is in the exponential form, that's going to be the base in the logarithmic form. So we want log base 7. Let's make that black. All right. And the exponent is what the logarithm is equal to. Here the exponent is x plus 1. Okay. 7 to the x plus 1 is going to be the 3. Okay. So that's changing to exponential form, or logarithmic form from exponential form. Okay? And sometimes we'll do it the other way. So let's change log base 4 of 8 equals y to exponential form. Okay? And this way is almost easier. It's always the base to the exponent is the number there, okay? So we would get 4 to the y is equal to 8. All right? Um, now, a couple of additional um, properties of logarithms. And these are really based on the definition, okay? All right, if you have log base b of b to the x, okay, this is just going to be x. b to what power is equal to b to the x? Well, b to the x is equal to b to the x, okay? So that's fairly straightforward. Um, and this works for any base. So if we have log base e of e to the 3 halves, our base is e. This is just equal to 3 halves. Okay. Um, now, one that looks a little uh, stranger, okay, if we call that property 1, a second property would be b to the log base b of x will also equal x. Okay. 
So for example, if you had um, 5 to the log base 5 of uh, y, okay, again, the bases have to be the same, 5 in this case, that's going to be y. All right, now, um, why do we want to look at logarithms? Um, one reason is it helps us to solve any equation where the, uh, ec the variable we're trying to solve for is an exponent. Okay? And we did do uh, a little bit of this last time. Let's say I want to solve 5 to the x plus 1 is equal to uh, 12. Okay. All right. The variable I'm trying to solve for is in the exponent up here. Okay. So step one will be change this to logarithmic form. Okay. So in log form, this becomes log base 5 of 12 is equal to x plus 1. And um, that gets the x out of the exponent, okay? Now, we can figure out what uh, the log is using our change of base formula, okay? Log base 5 of 12, okay, is just log of 12, divided by log of 5, and notice I'm using, I'm not writing in the base, uh, but again, that's a common logarithm, so that means base 10, okay? So log of 12 is 1.0792 uh, from your calculator, and log of 5 is 0 0.699, uh, and then if I do uh, the division, 1.0792 divided by 0.699, just do that on a calculator, I'm going to get, uh, that's about 1.544, okay? All right, now that's what this is. So I get 1.544 is equal to x plus 1. And then just subtract 1 from both sides. So 0 0.544, that's my solution for x. Okay. So logs let you solve equations that are um, have a variable as the exponent. OK, let's do a few more examples. And again, most of these are um, getting used to the properties of logarithms, changing back and forth between exponential and logarithmic form, and solving equations. Okay. All right. Um, let's try this one. Let's say we have log of e to the x equals, uh, let's just keep it simple and make it 2. Okay. All right. I'm trying to, if I want to solve this for x, the x is inside the log, um, let's change to exponential form. Now again, I haven't written a base here for the log, that means if you don't see a base there, think base 10. Okay? So changing to log form, 10 squared is equal to e to the x. Okay? And so e to the x is 100. All right, now I want to solve for x. Um, this is an exponential equation, I can change back to logarithmic form. And since the base is e, let's just use the natural logarithm. Okay. Um, log base e of 100 would be x. Okay. Right. e to the x is 100. That's what I've got up here. All right. So then, uh, log base e is just natural log. I just need natural log of 100. And that I'll do on my uh, calculator. And so x is equal to ln of 100 is about 4.605. Okay. I forgot to change back to black. All right.
Um, so yeah, generally you, you can use um, LN, natural logarithm, when you're working with base E. Okay. Um, let's do... Uh, one more of these. That should be probably good enough uh, for the types of problems that you're going to look at here. Um, let's say we have uh, ln of 2x minus 3 is equal to 1.5. Okay. All right, and we want to solve this for x. All right, um, let's change to exponential form, okay? Uh, if you start with log form and it's not clear what to do with the equation, try changing exponential form. That uh, could always help. So natural log is like having a base E here. So change to exponential form, we get E to the 1.5 is equal to 2x minus 3, all right? So we want to take uh, e to the 1.5 and see what we get there. And that comes out to be 4.48 is equal to 2x minus 3. Okay. Then add 3 to both sides. That'll be 7.48 is equal to 2x. And then divide both sides by 2. And 7.48... Uh, divided by 2 is 3.74. So x will be approximately 3.74. Okay. Uh, all right. So that's uh, various types of equations um, that you can solve using um, logarithms. And next time we'll get into uh, some application types of equations and get into a few more uh, properties of logarithms. And um, for example, we'll look at compound interest type problems and use logarithms to solve some of those. All right, we'll see you later.